reaching for it. I'm reaching, I'm reaching for greater, y'all. For greater, and I'm believing. Believe for greater, for greater, greater power, greater power, and greater faith. Greater faith for a greater harvest. Greater I'm gonna give him a praise. Hello and good day. Greetings to each and every one of you, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing and so glad to be in it. We want to welcome all of our first-time visitors, friends, and guests uh, that the city uh, that we call Greater Works. I am just so excited that you are here, and we pray that something will be said or done that will be a blessing to your heart. Praise the Lord. We want to take a moment to thank God for all of the fathers. Uh, today is Father's Day. We are just grateful for every man uh, that the Lord has blessed you to give seed to the world. And I want to take a moment to tell you, don't quit. Amen. Don't give up. And I am so grateful, praise the Lord, for a moment of prayer with you. Uh, I pray that the Lord will strengthen your arms uh, to be able to become wealthy and uh, leave an inheritance for your children's children. And uh, we also pray for your health and your wellness. Uh, that God would be able to uh, give you strength to live a long life. And uh, remember, brothers, stay close to God because God will be uh, the advantage that wins you the victory in every situation. God bless you on Father's Day. Now, let's take a moment to look at a few of our now. Saints of God, let's not forget again that uh, we're out of, for Bible class for the entire summer. Uh, but that's not for you to get lax in your times of devotion. I pray that you would uh, enhance yourself uh, with the ability to make it to prayer and uh, to find a study that you do in your own private time. Uh, but more so, the reason why we take off is so you can enjoy your family. And I want you to make a notation to do something special with your children. Amen. They don't have to be in your house anymore. Uh, that could be a call, meeting for lunch, you traveling to be with them. And uh, I, want you to, I want you to be family minded uh, during our summer break and go and be with them and spend time with them. Uh, do something with your wife, do something with your husband that's spontaneous. And, uh, you know, or just rest, praise the Lord. And utilize this time to add to your family, add to your life, add to your body. Uh, and uh, watch the Lord. Uh, uh, redeem that that what you have lost in the seasons where we're so withered and so weakened uh, by life's uh, events and situations. So uh, use this time to restore yourself. Amen. All roads lead to Impact Conference this week. I'm so excited. Our children are geared up. They are going to have a Wayne Day doodle of a time. Yes, they are. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I am so excited that they are getting ready to load up uh, all the room reservations. Everything is in place. Uh, they have the itinerary of when they're leaving. Uh, brothering, our deacons, I'm asking you uh, to undergird me uh, and me not being there with them to make sure, and Pastor Harold, that we pray with them uh, before they depart. We help them to load uh, at the time that they are going. Uh, we have two deacons assigned to our youth department. I thank God for them. Deacon Fred and Deacon Richard, and I'm asking them to undergird with uh, Pastor Wade uh, to make sure every kid is accountable for, uh, that they have uh, donuts and uh, Shipley croissants and some OJ or apple juice before they get on the bus, uh, even though I'm going to feed them somewhere along uh, the Atlantic, uh, uh, Atlanta uh, exit, uh, which is a halfway point somewhere in Carthage, uh, Texas. Oh, oh, I'm going to feed them breakfast, so I'm excited about that as well. And so, but we're excited that they're coming. Let's undergird. I, we are so, so, so happy uh, about what they are getting ready to do. Now, children have their instructions. They, their parents have met with uh, Brother Terry and Lady King on this past Wednesday, and we, ha we are happy uh, to be able to do this for our children. Uh, I do want to say this. I apologize to the parents who want your children to go at the last minute. Uh, it's my heart to be able to take all the kids of our church. But but let this serve as an, as an encouragement to you. Make sure your kid is involved in the things of the church and not just the movement of the church. 
And that's my heart for you, parent. Are you listening to me? I want you to make it your business to make sure they are active in the Lord. And that way they can be ahead of the curve, partaking in the very things that we do. Uh, because let me tell you something, outside of dancing and traveling, all that we are really about is learning about Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so we are thankful for that. Make that happen. And we are looking forward to seeing them in Texas this Wednesday. Well, any and all other announcements will come from Pastor Wayne on this Sunday. Uh, I just want to take a special moment again to thank God uh, for the Greater Works family. Listen, Pastor loves each and every one of you. What a wonderful service we had last week. Thank you for responding uh, and showing me that uh, we are still connected. That we are confirmed in God. And I'm um, ever praying for you. I pray that you receive the daily devotionals. Uh, if you're not receiving that, then you need to get with me. Because I try to send them to every member uh, who number that I have. I send it to them faithfully every Monday. And uh, what that does, it just keeps us in wonderful fellowship with one another. Uh, well, praise the Lord. Love every one of you. And uh, the last words, you know what I always tell you. That whatever you do in word or deed, do it all to the glory of God. God bless you. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Let me tell you something. And saints of God, this has to be your testimony at the end of the day. And that is, if the Lord don't do anything else for me, y'all hear me? He's already. I need you to slap the wind up and say, he's, he's already done. What did he do? He got up on the third day.